Number 1. Mustang One Roadster In 1962, the Mustang One made its grand debut at the United States Grand Prix in Watkins Glen, New York, with racing icon Dan Gurney at the helm. Gurney showcased the vehicle's prowess by taking it on a demonstration lap that was anything but competitive, yet he managed to clock speeds surpassing 120 miles per hour, which was quite unique for a Ford at that time. This model was notable for its 91 cubic inch V4 engine situated at the rear, a distinctive feature for Ford vehicles of that era. The Mustang One's design was a radical departure from the norm, focusing on combining roadability, performance, and appearance. Only two prototypes were crafted. The first, a meticulously detailed fiberglass model without operational capabilities, and the second, a fully operational prototype. Number 2. Mustang Shorty Concept 3 Crafted by Dearborn Steel Tubing, a longtime Ford supplier and prototype shop, it was originally a convertible that was later converted into a two-seat fastback. The car was shortened by 18 inches, reducing the wheelbase from 108 inches to just 90. This was done by stripping the Mustang's unit body down to its structural floor pan. Under the hood, its 4.3-liter V8 was bored out to 4.9 liters and equipped with the three-carburetor setup, an experimental version of what would become an iconic muscle power plant. This powerhouse was coupled with a bespoke Ford C4 automatic transmission, channeling torque to the rear wheels via an open 8-inch differential. Despite its innovative design, the vehicle was never destined for mass production. Ford ordered its disassembly shortly after its creation, but the designer covertly preserved it. In a testament to its rarity and historical significance, this singular Mustang fetched over $500,000 at a 2015 auction. Number 3. Mustang Allegro II The Allegro II was a follow-up to the original Allegro concept from the early 1960s and was part of Ford's X-Cars program, which also included the Mustang II concept, which influenced the production of Mustang. One of the most striking features of the Allegro II was its pillarless front and side glass, which gave it a sleek and uninterrupted profile. It also had a sport bar with fin-like flying buttresses on the back deck, reminiscent of the first-generation Viper. The car boasted a low cowl height and an overall height not much taller than Ford's GT40 race car. Interestingly, the Allegro II's design seemed to influence other models in the industry, with similarities noted between its design and that of the Chevrolet Vega and the Gen 2 Camaro. Number 4. Mustang Mach 2 Concept The Mustang Mach 2 Concept was a significant project initiated by Ford's Advanced Concept Department on March 22, 1966. It aimed to explore a mid-engine sports car that could potentially compete with the Chevy Corvette. The concept was not intended to be a mid-engine Mustang, but was prototyped on a Mustang chassis for feasibility studies. The Mach 2 program produced three segments, Mach 2A, B, and C. The initial phase, Mach 2A, involved a non-running chassis to validate the concept, followed by two running prototypes. One prototype was a red, production-standard vehicle loaned for media road testing, and the other was a white, race-only version subjected to track testing. These prototypes were engineered and built by CarCraft, a Ford contractor in Brighton, Michigan. The concept made its debut at the 1967 Chicago Auto Show and was considered as a possible replacement for the Shelby Cobra. Number 5. Mustang Milano Unveiled at the Chicago Auto Show in February 1970, the Mustang Milano was a radical design inspired by the grand touring cars of Milan, Italy. It showcased potential future directions for the Mustang line. The Milano was painted in a distinctive ultraviolet color, featuring a low-slung, two-seat design with a nearly horizontal fastback roof. It was only 43 inches tall, with a windshield sloped back at a 67-degree angle and an electrically powered rear deck lid. The car's hood had NACA-style ducts to force air into the engine, and the rear featured an integrated spoiler for stability at high speeds. One of the Milano's most innovative features was the tail lamps, which changed color based on the car's movement, green when accelerating, amber when coasting, and red when braking. While the Mustang Milano never went into production, 
It influenced the design of later Ford models, including the 1971 Mustang and the Australian market 1974 Falcon XB Coupe, famously known as the vehicle driven by Mad Max. Number 6. Mustang Boss 10-Liter Concept the 1994 Mustang Boss 10-liter concept was a remarkable machine that showcased Ford's engineering prowess. It was built to evaluate forthcoming Mustang performance gears and to give the world a glimpse of the future of muscle cars. The project was the brainchild of SVT chief engineer John Coletti and his team, who aimed to blend the old with the new by installing a Boss 429 engine into the body of a 1994 SVT Mustang Cobra. This monster was powered by a massive 10-liter V8 engine, producing an astonishing 855 horsepower and 790 torque. This engine was a significant step up from anything previously seen in a Mustang. It was optimized for drag racing, with the ability to accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 1.9 seconds and finish the quarter mile in a mere 10.55 seconds at 135 miles per hour. Number 7. Mustang Super Stallion Unveiled at the Las Vegas SEMA show in 1997 by Ford's special vehicle engineering team, this particular Mustang was groundbreaking for its time. It featured a 5.4-liter modular V8 engine with a four-valve head and a significant Garrett supercharger, enabling it to produce an impressive 590 horsepower on E85 ethanol fuel. What made the Super Stallion stand out was its versatility in fuel consumption. It could run on gasoline, alcohol, or any combination of the two. On 93-octane pump gas, the car could still deliver a robust 554 horsepower. Performance-wise, it could accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 3.8 seconds and complete a quarter mile in 12.1 seconds at 117 miles per hour. Number 8. Mustang GTR Concept the GTR was a stunning racing concept car that Ford unveiled to celebrate the Mustang's 40th anniversary. It made its world debut on April 7, 2004 at the New York International Auto Show. The GTR concept was a nod to Mustang's road racing history and a hint at the future of race-prepared Mustangs. It was inspired by the iconic Grabber Orange 1970 Mustang Boss 302 Trans Am race cars and featured a bright Valencia orange color. The GTR concept boasted a 5-liter camera crate engine from Ford Racing Performance Parts, making 440 horsepower and potentially more than 500 ponies under certain race series rules. The car's structure was based on the all-new 2005 Mustang and included sophisticated racing parts from various racing series, as well as a Formula One-inspired steering wheel. Number 9. Mustang Gugiero Concept Unveiled at the 2006 Los Angeles International Auto Show, this concept car is based on the fifth-generation Ford Mustang. It features a more compact appearance with a reduction in the rear overhang and a wider body that expands by 3.15 inches towards the rear. The design includes a longer hood, giving it a fastback look in the side view. Under its hood, the concept was powered by a 4.6-liter modular V8 engine, which was tuned to produce over 500 horses with the help of a twin-screw supercharger. The engine was fitted with fuel injectors from the Ford GT, which gave it a larger air intake and improved exhaust flow. The Gugiero Mustang concept was not only a showcase of design and engineering, but also influenced the design cues of the 2015 Ford Mustang. Number 10. 